In the earlier days of the modern internet, gaming looked much different than it does now. Mobile and casual gaming were new and exciting, with the rise of virtual rooms like the Penguin for Kids and Iwin Hotel for Adults. Nestled among all this was the rise of social media itself. Sure, most people knew about MySpace and YouTube, but Facebook is when things started to take the world by storm. A factor in this was the gaming aspect. Things like Farmville, Dragon City, and that one mafia game that everyone played, but no one could actually remember the name of. But, but we all played it. Many of us can remember spending hours building up our various little games, and everyone had one. Everyone still does. No matter who you are, you likely have one or two mobile games you pick up from time to time. Whether it be Pokemon Cafe Remix or League of Legends Wild Rift, there is a mobile game crawling with microtransactions to fit any niche nowadays. Back when I was a kid, though, there was always one game specifically that I would come back to in the end. And that game was none other than Happy Aquarium. In order to talk about Happy Aquarium, we first need to talk a bit about the company that created it. Crowdstar Games was founded in 2008. It was quick to grow in popularity with its games library, among them being Happy Aquarium, Happy Pets, and Zoo Paradise. In 2012, it was ranked to be one of the top five companies for an active user base, with Happy Aquarium being their most played app. They even rejected an over $200 million offer from Microsoft. In 2012, they decided to fully shift over to the mobile market, focusing on games like Fish with Attitude, Mermaid World, and their fashion-focused games. We'll talk a little bit about Fish with Attitude later, since it's essentially the more updated mobile edition of Happy Aquarium. In the end of the company's lifespan, it was acquired by Glue Mobile in 2016, which is under the EA Games umbrella. Naturally, we all know that EA is where great companies go to die. This was no exception. That being said, let's jump into the main focus of this video. Happy Aquarium! It was published in October 2009, and it was quick to become a success for the company. Happy Aquarium was a simple game in premise. You have your aquarium where you can buy, breed, and sell fish. Breeding fish and leveling up could unlock new fish and decorations, and there were dailies such as fish training and treasure hunting that kept you coming back to see what you could get. The way this game really stood out was in the art style. Rather than making a free-to-play clone of Fish Tycoon, which I have a video of by the way, it has its own cartoonishly cute look that fit well with the trends at the time. Combining it with frequent updates and community contests to let players feel included in the experience, it was no wonder that the game was a hit success. The training and treasure hunting were also rather unique aspects. Tricks meant that you could sell your fish for more coins. The more training, the better the value. I personally remember this being much higher for fully grown fish than growing ones. And the training minigame itself was a very fun and simple click the obstacles to avoid them type of game. It worked well for what it was, and you could get decent coins from it if you collected all of the ones that fell. Treasure hunting was the other mini game. You would go with your fish into the ocean to gather coins. Your mouse was how you controlled the fish, and the timer I believe was either 60 or 90 seconds that you could spend finding coins, or if you cleared the area out fully. Footage for this game is limited, and the game itself could easily be considered lost media. There's a few videos, plenty of screenshots, and the old Facebook page, which recently updated their banner and profile pictures. Is this a sign <laughs> of something? But finding information to even make this video was quite challenging, especially because when it was sold to 101XP, they made some very poor management decisions in terms of keeping the game alive. One of those decisions was changing the game from a microtransaction game to a subscription game with microtransactions, much like Wizard 101. For some games, a subscription model worked really well. A daily game where you loaded it up and checked on your fish a couple times a day? Not so much. This combined with a few external factors such as the Facebook fraud scandal, 
led to the game's unfortunate closure on June 15th, 2021. There is currently no playable version of this game, although you can find the music and assets scattered around the web if you dig. Maybe someone can work to make their own rendition of it, much like Pet Pal City is to Pet Society? I couldn't cover Happy Aquarium without covering Fish with Attitude. Fish with Attitude came out in April 2012, and it ran almost identical to Happy Aquarium. The main differences between the two were the much more in-depth breeding system, and the fact that it was available on mobile devices as well as Facebook. The animation and graphics were also a bit more in-depth. And they had dedicated YouTube Shorts, long before YouTube Shorts existed by the devs. Oh, come on, buddy, it's gonna be alright. It's, she was nothing. You're better than her. I mean, I mean, look what you got. You've got, you've got all kinds of stuff. She's got nothing. You're cool and she's not. So, uh, um, uh, uh, it's gonna be all right. Yeah, you're my bud. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I'm a fish! The game was shut down in 2017 without much of a reason given to its closure. I'm guessing that since Happy Aquarium overall was the more popular app, and the same team was working on both, they closed to put re more resources towards Happy Aquarium and other games. Fish with Attitude sadly has the same fate as Happy Aquarium though. It is currently not playable, and only some assets have been able to be found. It's assumed that some of them were kept with the online servers, so when they went down, everything went with them. I'm a fish! Thanks for joining me on this short glimpse in the past. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I have. If you did, remember to leave a like and a comment letting me know. And if you want to see more videos like this, or gameplay of games, new, old, and obscure, hit the subscribe button and click the bell so that you're notified of my next upload. Early access, as always, is on the Ko-Fi, and I hope to see you in the next video.